right now we turn to the phone lines and welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers getting set to tote the rock in the Superdome. Leonard Fournette. How are you, Leonard? I'm good. How you doing, Rich? I am doing fine. What a huge game this is this week, Leonard. What's it like in your locker room, in your world right now for this one? Uh, as of right now, you know what I mean? We're just getting ready for uh, we know it's going to be a dog fight. You know, uh, you know they have chemistry. They've been playing with each other for a while. So uh, it's going to be interesting. You know, we got to come in, uh, do our job, our assignments, and just have faith in our game plan. What's it like having a front row seat for Brady in a big week like this? What's it like? Walk me through it. Uh, I'm confident. I know it's Tom Brady, confident in him. You know, he's, he's been in these type of games before. He's been in these situations multiple times. Uh, a guy like myself and a couple other guys on offense, you know, we all been in playoff games. And we know how how easy it is to get off task. So, you know, just the mental things, the small things, just staying focused, staying mind clear, you know, uh, and just getting to it. Well, I know definitely you have uh, been there uh, before in the playoffs. You've had huge games, like, say, uh, in Heinz Field by one and dunning the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, and also you've been – in uh, a championship game against Tom Brady. Uh, the reason why I just bring it up is just, have you seen a difference in Brady, I guess, would be the way to, to ask it, uh, based on what you saw over the first 17 weeks of the season or uh, a handful, the, the lion's share of the season where you were there uh, to the last couple of weeks, Leonard? Have you noticed a difference? Uh, no, I, I, think, I think it's the same. You know, he's, he's always had that laser focus. He knows how important each and every game is. As, as always, but I, I think it's just different for me being his teammate now and just seeing how confident he is back there, even when we're down or we're in tough situations, you know, he doesn't lose this poise. He's a, he remains the same, you know, and uh, that's what I love about him. And that's what I love about being back there with him, helping him and protecting him. So how has things uh, turned around since you're by, Leonard? I mean, it's it, it looks different. Obviously, the results are clearly different, and um, the the consistency is far more uh, efficient, to say the least. What happened? What happened here? Do you think? Uh, uh, I mean, some I can't really uh, answer. You know what I mean? But just know, like uh, things happen for a reason. You know, I can say that. And my job is to always be ready, stay ready. And that's that's what that's 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 the mentality here, you know. One man's down, next man's up. So just coming in, you know, understanding the playbook a hundred percent fully, and being confident in my work, and also don't have any doubts when I touch the field, and just knowing what that task. You know, what I mean, we have a, we have a great team here, great players. I understand we can win. And we just, have, we just have to put the things together. That's about it. Well, I guess I was meaning as a team, Leonard. Obviously, I know you individually. There was a, a couple of weeks where you didn't see the field, and then you you got in and uh, became uh, a, a very important part of this team in a manner that we hadn't seen, I guess, in the previous weeks. I, I just, I guess, I mean, offensively as a whole, where things were working, and you could easily say, "Hey, you know, I'm playing. <laughs> That's fine too." I, that's what I was just wondering here. You know. Yeah, I I think I think chemistry. It takes time. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said last week, was our first playoff game together. You know, the Saints. They've been they've been with each other for some years now, and they understand, and they have a chemistry. And I think we're we're, we're finally getting to there, getting to there right now, a bit by bit. We're not fully there, but it's coming together as you can see from the last couple of games. And we just have to stay full straddle, pedal, pedal to the metal, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, it's different, and. We're ready. I can say that we're going to be ready. It takes time. You know, uh, it's going to be it's going to be a big one for us. It's going to be one look, Leonard. Obviously, you've got um, a lot of NFL road ahead of you, and you've already had some extreme success in this league, right? You've 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 been there and done that. But this is going to be something you tell your family members about this game. I mean, we will never see a game where again um, the quarterbacks are going to come in with the resumes that these two are coming in. This is this is this yeah. is it, you know. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, two great quarterbacks, uh, two Hall of Famers when they retire. Uh, they have the resume. Uh, just how they how they've carried themselves through their careers, you know, is, is, is tremendous. And to be on the stage to play with those two guys uh, for a young guy like me is uh, no better feeling 
to go out there and try to perform just as better as them or up to part with them by doing my job. What about Leonard Fournette here on the Rich Eisen Show? A few minutes left with the Tampa Bay Buccaneer running back. Uh, in the, the previous game, um, you had seven touches, just one rush. I mean, obviously the the scoreboard had a lot to do with that. But what, what are you gleaning from that loss um, on your home turf against this team going in? Like, what, what have you taken out of that and that you've seen on film and you're, you're using for this week? Anything or you buried that back in the day? What do you got? I mean, you got to bear it, but, you know, some, some way, somehow, it's still back in mind. You know, they embarrassed us on national, national TV. You know, uh, and as an athlete, as a competitor, you know, uh, it kind of stings. You know, you wish you could have did a lot, a lot of things better than what you did. But right now, it's on to the next. You know, we moved on from that. But we just, we just know that feeling that they gave us at the, at the end of that game, and how we felt. So we're just not trying to feel that no more, to be honest. And you must feel fresh, right? Is this as fresh as you've ever felt for a playoff run yeah, in your yeah, career? Yeah, it is. Uh, usually around this time, I probably have three hundred some carries. <laughs> right. Right now, I'm at like. Right now, I'm at like 101, so I feel way better than, than I usually do. I mean that. Well, I, that's gonna, you, you've got to feel really. I mean, ex, uh, this is this is it. I'm 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 jumping out of my skin. I can only matter what what you must be feeling like uh, going into this one, if you don't mind, especially since you are going back to the state uh, of Louisiana, Leonard. I'll just give yeah, you the floor I'm, on what this all means. I'm excited. Here. I'm excited. You know, being from New Orleans, uh, playing at LSU, you know, uh, I know for a fact everyone's down there is a, a New Orleans fan, a New Orleans Saints fan. So uh, it's like it's like it's, it's, it's kind of putting everybody in a in a mix because they want to they want to root for me, but they root for the Saints also. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, it's exciting, exciting to be back home, play at my, play at my home. And uh, just ready to go out and represent and show off. So, are you are you um, in advance telling members of your friends and family, uh, Team Fournette, um, sorry in advance? Are you telling them that in advance? No, no, no. I'm just I'm just letting them know. I don't want the negative vibes by me. I don't want about the same. And they call my phone. That's about it. Yeah, you turn you know, the phone off, going. right? You're turning your phone off, right? That's for sure. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. They know. Do not call my phone talking about the Saints. <laughs> I'm talking about football. We're gonna talk about like how life's going. I don't hear nothing about football because I know it, deep down they root for me, but they're going for the Saints too. So. <laughs> like, like, like um, I, I have my, a friend named Peckers. He says he always says this. I wish, I wish the best for you. Look, like, he's a New York Giants fan. He wish he said, mm-hmm. I, I wish he rushed for two hundred yards to lose by one point against the Giants. <laughs> <laughs> you know that almost happened. Actually, you know that that was that was a tight one part of the whole season well, yeah. here. But I love well, it that. Definitely was. You know, so you yeah, so you could tell your friends and family, you know who Dad is, but uh, don't yeah. call. Be quiet. That's amazing, man. <laughs> this is it. Well, look, uh, Leonard, I am genuinely fired up for this one. Like I, I have already let everybody uh, know that my phone's going to be off for this one too. Like this is, <laughs> this is it. Like th- there's th- there's a specific reason why this game was saved for the final game of the weekend. Like it, it I, I obviously. Obviously, the uh, the the attention from the quarterbacks merits it, but this is also a a dynamite um, uh, matchup, and the fact that you you're going to have center stage in it too, it's just uh, I'm I'm hyped for you, Leonard. Always, man. I appreciate you, Rich. Always, you know, um, we've been at it since college, man. I appreciate you. Always. Thanks for the call, Leonard. You be well. We'll chat again soon. No problem. Good luck. Let's do it down the road. That's Leonard Fournette. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.